All right, let's talk about how to learn music so it sticks. Now, you know, you could just learn it and learn the words and repeat them over and over and kind of have a general idea of what it means. And maybe if you keep doing it long enough, it's going to kind of stick to you and you're going to be able to recite these things. But guess what? It's going to be hard to remember. You might forget. And people are not going to know what you're talking about. So you want to really connect with each word. So what you do is first you translate it word for word. Now, this might seem a little tedious and it might take a little longer, but in the long run, trust me, it's going to be so much better and you're going to love it. It's going to be fun instead of, you know, boring and like, oh, I can't remember that word. What's that word? And how do you say it? Okay. So let's say, for instance, you're doing Stri de la Bampa. That's what I'm going to sing. You know, not everybody going to sing that, but whatever. Stri de la Bampa from Il Trovatore. So Asucena is telling the gypsies really about how her mother was burned at the stake. They don't know it's about her mother, but it'll come out later. We, we all know it. Anyway, so Stri de la Bampa, when you look it up, it says the crackling flame fizzles. Mm. Oh, and by the way, if there are English words underneath to sing, doesn't count. That is not a translation. Okay? That is just, if you're going to sing it in English, it might be close, but it might not. But that, that just is not it. Okay, so, the crackling flame fizzles. Here's another one. I like this one better. Screeches the blaze. Strida. It screeches. It crackles. The blaze. The flame. So it's like, you know how when the fire's going, strida, you can just, the strident, you can imagine that. So I walk around and I say these words and people probably think I'm crazy, which I might be. Stride, stride la vampa, crackles. Oh, it's so awful. Stride la vampa, the flames. La folla indomita. Hmm, what does that mean? La folla indomita, the unyielding crowd. La folla is the crowd, the mob, the restless mob. La folla indomita, indomitable. It's just like they're there, they're everywhere. I'm trying to get to my mom and I can't get to her because all these people are there. Ah, and I want to just get her out of there and save her. All this stuff is going on, right? And you have to figure this stuff out. La folla indomita, indomita. Indomita. La folla indomita corre a quel fuoco. Corre. They run a quel fuoco at that fire. Lieta in sembianza. Lieta. They're happy in sembianza, in their faces. Do you see the picture? So, you say it over and over. So, you know the song kind of goes, um, chuck. Chuck, um, chuck, chuck, stride, la, ba, ba. I mean, it could be a happy song, but it's really the flames were crackling, the mob was restless. They all come running to the fire, and they all look so darn ha happy. Yeah, so think about that before you even sing it. Say those words, get to know them. Stri de la vampa. And you know, you don't even have to be that dramatic because when you know what it is, Stri de la vampa, la folla indomita, corre a quel foco, lieta in sembianza. And you connect with it. And once you connect with it, your audience is going to connect with it. So that is your homework. Get your piece out. Write it all down, word for word, on a piece of paper. Then, underneath it, write down the English translation word for word. And sometimes you might have, like, it explains what it means, because sometimes it doesn't make sense when you just have word for word, okay? And then, on top, we'll put the IPA on how to pronounce it. Now, I guarantee you, if you do this work, you're going to have fun. It's going to be fun doing it. And then when you start singing it, it's going to make sense to you. And you're not going to have trouble trying to remember, oh, what's that word? What's that? How does that go? Because you're going to have that picture going for you. So this is a lot of fun. Okay, got it?